Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome to a Soul Sacrifice Delta video. So on this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the crossover DLC of God Eater 2 with Soul Sacrifice Delta. So as always with DLC, we get a new arch fiend to fight, which gives us new magic offerings, and we also get some costumes. So how do you download the DLC? Well, from this main menu here, what you want to do is go to the download option and go through that process and you will download the DLC. And so the next thing I'm going to show you is the costumes. Okay, so actually to obtain the costumes, what you need to do is you need to head over to Garner Tux after you have fought the Arch Fiend, which comes along with this DLC three times and then you can actually purchase the costume so this is what the costume is called so i'm just going to purchase this now okay so now if i head over to my costume section so we're just gonna go through the female one first Okay, so it's right at the bottom. Okay, so this is the female outfit. So I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see the details there. We've got the symbol of God Eater on the back. It's a pretty nice looking costume. Okay, so let's switch over to male now. I actually prefer the colour of the male costume. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Very detailed costume, it's really nice looking probably doesn't really fit into the uh, soul sacrifice environment though some of the DLC crossover costumes do look slightly out of place but they still look badass in my opinion I'd rather have them than not have them okay so that's it for the costumes and the next thing I'm going to show you is where to locate the new mission for the new arch fiend with this DLC Okay, so for the new DLC mission, what you want to do from this menu here is head over to Packs, Additional Packs, Other World Packs, and then it's on the right hand side over here. Let's just see, it's not that one. So it's the second one down on the right hand side page. And uh, I don't know how to say this guy's name. I would actually say it Marduk. Um, because Marduk sounds weird and not as badass, but I'm just going to pronounce it Marduk. Um, we've got a harder level one here as well, and we've got an Abyssal Fiend in the mix on that one, and it's basically just a couple of packs there. I will be doing a demonstration video of me fighting this Arch Fiend, so don't forget to stay tuned to my Soul Sacrifice Delta Let's Play walkthrough. And the next thing I'm going to do now is demonstrate the new offerings that you actually get from this Arch Fiend. Okay guys, so we have the two new spell offerings here. The first one is Red Lupine Wing. Awaken the magic of the Marduk to pelt the enemy with fireballs. So it's 400 power. Casts are 14, long range, and this is the large version. And we've also got this one, Red Lupine Ruby. Awaken the magic of the Marduk to ensnare and devour foes. This is a blade type weapon, and it's definitely my favourite out of the two. 66 power, casts are 6, short range, and duration is 80 seconds. So let's jump in, and I can demonstrate these in the field. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to do the charge up 
version of the sword offering simply because the goblin is uh, too fast and ends up knocking me down so I might try it once but um, I'll demonstrate it nonetheless whether it hits the goblin or not. So here we go this is the long range offering as you can see a molten fireball fires out. I cannot hold down the corresponding button to charge this up at all what you see is what you get with that one. Now I'm switching to the blade type offering. So like any other blade, it's a fast attacking offering spell. Now if I charge up, you can see, there we go, that it devours some of the enemy's essence and it gives you buffs. So that's pretty awesome. So let's just do that again if we can. Well, he was slightly out of range, but you get the idea. It's a really awesome move. I love the blade type weapons in the game anyway, but the fact that it gives you buffs when you devour some of the enemy's essence is extra awesome. So that's it for this DLC. As I said earlier, I will be doing a demonstration video of me fighting that new Archfiend that is featured in this DLC pack. So don't forget to like, comment, favourite and share the video guys. All types of engagement help me out as a YouTuber. Let me know which is your preferred offering out of the two you get from the new Archfiend and also let me know if you like the new costumes, what you like about them and what you don't like about them in the comments section. As always guys, thank you for watching and take it easy.